Rising Barometer Productions presents How to Hack the Speech Program on Mac OS 9. Now, many of you who use Mac OS 9 may be familiar with some of the voices, and what I'm going to demonstrate here is how to hack the good news voice and the bad news voice. So, here are the normal voices here. This one is good news, and I'll play it right here for those of you who don't know. Congratulations, you just won a sweepstakes, and you don't have to pay income tax again. Okay. Now here is the bad news voice. The light you see at the end of the tunnel is the headlong pull of fast approaching train. Now, how to hack it here? What I did is I uh, dug up my old uh, kids game that I had that I used to play as a youngster, and. I took it out, and I fooled around with it, and I said, well, maybe I can hack speech on this thing. So I'll show you how to hack speech on Kid Picks Deluxe 3 here. <laughs> so here we go, I'm going to start it up now, and please be aware that this is not something that I normally use. It's literally uh, a game that I just, like, dug up out of my storage box, so here we go. Application requires 800 by 600 resolution and thousands of colors to run. Okay. You can hear that queer theme song there. Alright, let me zoom in on the screen, maybe you can see it here, I don't know if you can see it, but just a little bit. Okay, now if I remember how to open a file, um... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm so sorry for the delay here, but I think it might be inside the folder here. Yep, it's right here. Okay, here we go. And there it is. Okay, so now up here on the top is the text that the good news voice says, which if I can find the good news voice here on the bottom, let's see here. Okay, it's right there. Now this is the regular, or this is the normal, um, these are the normal words that the good news voice says when you um, when you preview um, or if when you listen to the voice sample in the speech settings. So now this is the normal one here. Congratulations, you just won a sweepstakes, and you don't have to pay. Again. Now you can add in here the bad news voice to say those exact words, which sounds like this. Congratulations, you just won a sweepstakes, and you don't have to pay income tax again. 
So I think that's I think that's pretty cool that you can actually you can make everything um, say you can make the speeches say different words, but and over here on the bottom is the normal are the normal words that the bad news voice says when you uh, listen to the sample of that voice in the speech settings. So this is what the uh, bad news voice normally says. The light you see at the end of the tunnel is the headlamp of a fast approaching train. Uh, let's see, now you can add in the good news voice, which is right there. The light you see at the end of the tunnel is the headlamp of a fast approaching train. So the reason why I think this is kind of hilarious is because if you see a uh, light at the end of the tunnel and it's a fast approaching train, then it's not really good news because you're going to die. And if you won a sweepstakes and you don't have to pay income tax again, it's not really bad news. So having to be able to flip-flop these voices here I find pretty cool. But I know this is probably not the only program that you could use to flip-flop voices, but it's the only program that I had. And it's a program, again, I do not normally use this. It's literally a kid's game that I just dug up from my storage box that I used to play as a youngster. So, there you go. X out of it. Close this. And there you go. And yes, that is my uh, iMac G3 Graphite Special Edition that I did this on. Alright. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please comment.